Welcome everyone, my name is Fathom and welcome to Car X Drifting Online. So, you just bought the game and you are pretty stuck because you don't know what to do because you don't have any money and you have the Hatch Heroku and a stuck setup and you don't know what to do. So this video will guide you through everything you need to know when you start playing Car X on PC, PS4 or an Xbox or PS5 or the Xbox fridge, depending on what you have. So, first of all, you have the car. You have this car, and I believe you start out with three cars nowadays. I believe you start with those three cars, but to be honest, the A86 is the best one. So, I don't know if you start with any money now, but if you start with any money, just buy the ultimate two. If you don't, just do a small time attack. Just do one time attack and that should probably be enough. So, let's try the time attack now. So, since you're probably not gonna have no money, you're gonna have also no tracks. The only track you're gonna have is Parking A. So, as you can see, the reward is 30,000 for the best score. Yeah, I kind of f***ed that up, didn't I? So if you win uh, the second the silver time, is it's also pretty good because you get 15k for that. And even bronze is also good because you get like 10k for that, so it's, so it's really not that bad. You don't really need to get the first place. And also this is what you do in the beginning when you just don't have literally any money at all. And as you can see, I had two major f***ups and I was going pretty slowly. And I believe I can still manage to get the first time. Yep. So that was 30,000 in the bank from doing one time attack with stock setup on the stock track. So what you want to do is you want to invest in a ultimate body kit. The ultimate tune. So once you have the ultimate tune, you just follow what I do here. And I don't have a current setup for this, so I'm just gonna customize it here with you. So, stiffness 150. Damps don't really matter that much. I like my toe, my front toe to be negative and rear toe to be more positive. If I can set it up. Yep, front camber, I like to go around five degrees of in front and around two or three in the back. Caster I prefer mostly to be on three. Ackerman on 55 or 85 and above. Angle of course maxed out. Wheels front 100, rear 90 but that's to personal preference. Uh, wheel of track is basically to fit your to suit your fitments really. Uh, engine maxed out. Ooh. Ooh, yes, this is gonna be useful. Transmission, the diff fully differential locked brakes. You already know what's happening with the brakes. So, once you've done that, you just work some magic on the suspension so it will be nice and flush. And once you have done that, you can take a look at the camber again and redo your camber because every time you adjust your suspension, the camber changes. And after that you can also change the wheel of track to make the wheel stuck in a little bit more. So once you've done that, now you have the ultimate setup. And you're basically set. That's your beginner drift car with a realistic tune. So this is basically what you wanna do when you get when you do the first time attack. So after the first time attack you're basically set because you already have a ultimate drift car. So basically what you can do is you can hop into multiplayer or do some more time attacks. 
I would suggest you all also grind a bit of money and buy yourself West Coast Arena. So basically when you have West Coast Arena and a good sort of tune, you just basically won the game because you get nearly half a million with the A86, you get half a million with the RX-8, you get you get 600,000 with the 180SX and the S15. So what I would highly recommend you do is you buy the Phoenix NX, the 180SX or the Mifune or basically any cars that you want. But the best cars are the S14, RX-7, 350Z, Chaser, RX-7FC, G35, the Altezza IS300 and the 180SX. And of course some other cars but they are getting more expensive here. I own all of them. So once you've done that, you... For example, let's say you bought the IS300 here. Yeah? You bought an IS300, you bought the Ultimate 2, you bought a body kit that suits your needs and you made yourself a nice livery. So what do you do next? I recommend you watch a tune tutorial. But I would recommend you watch a realistic tune tutorial, for example my tutorial that shows you how to make a nice, very controllable 90 adhesion realistic tune. And realistic tunes are the best in my opinion because you can do so much more with a realistic tune. You can do 360 entries, you can do reverse entries and they are, they are difficult in the beginning they're difficult to learn, but easy to master. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Remember to have a good one, and see you guys in tomorrow's video. Cheers!